go. Let's do some more. Unfortunately, doing some more today is going to make me sad face because we only have two more for Hokkaido. Uh, let's take a look at them. This one, not human error, assassinate Soders by performing the surgery yourself. And this one, one last time, Mr. Soders, assassinate Soders by revealing yourself as Agent 47. Assassinate Soders by exposing yourself. Unfortunately, this one actually does require the use of, of clothes. So I don't know if we can do that. I was planning on wearing the, the, the yukata and just flashing it. But <laughs> I don't think that'll work. But let's take, uh, take a look at the setup. I'm going to bring the Kruger today. Surprise. And I wanted to bring the hammer, but I don't have it unlocked in this account. So let's bring the baton instead. Um, coins is fine. Let's start in the morgue. I spent all this time and effort unlocking all this shit, so... Um, let's make use of it today. Let's have some fun with these challenges. I'm going to allow myself... Um, starting gear. Now, one last time, Mr. Soders requires you to wear a specific suit in order to be able to get the prompt that will allow you to kill him by exposing yourself. So the way it seems to work is that the signature suits worked. I think this is the one you get with the game. This is the one you unlock with the ET. And uh, most of the elusive target unlock suits don't work. I'm not sure if the Yukata does or not. I don't remember trying that one or not. It may, it may not. So don't quote me on that. Requiem suit does. Uh, Blood money suit and the Absolution suit. Those are ET suit unlocks, and they do work. I'm going to use the Blood money suit. Uh, Terminus doesn't, the winter suit doesn't, and I don't have it unlocked on this, but Santa does work. Somehow, <laughs> somehow Soders will recognize, <laughs> only recognizes 40, 47's face in specific suits, even though he can see his face in all of these, but he does recognize Santa. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know how that works, but that's the way it does. I'm going to roll with the Blood Money suit, because Blood Money is my favorite game. So that is that. That's the setup. Here we go. I don't know where this stuff is going to show up in the inventory. This will probably screw me up. But I didn't even pay P2F in this situation. I'm going to get F'd by the inventory. So I'll see where it ends up. If it confuses me, so be it. That is the setup. Here we go. Not only is it a pain in the ass in normal mode to have to wait for these two or one of these two guys to walk around the table, now you have to wait for that guy and these guards to walk away too. So that is what I'm going to be doing for a significant amount of time. So bear with me. <laughs> I can't do anything about this. I'm gonna wait for this guy to start walking that way. He's about to do that. Implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Does it work? Right when he gets to the corner of that gurney is the time when. He seems to lose the ability to see you. Now, one of the curators is going to start walking around the operating table in the middle of the room. I know he's doing that. I'm not going to look back there to check him, but I'm just going to shoot the camera. I know he passed already. So that'll move this guard out of the way, and we can get into the smuggle point to get the syringe I smuggled. And get the Kruger ready, and I'm going to take out the evidence immediately because there are a couple more cameras in the way, so... That is the same spot I've been using to take out the evidence, and now it's up to the stem cells room. And the woman who comes in and out of here is to the side, so let's get her uh, toward the wall. I'm gonna leg shot her to knock her down and then knock her out. Well, let's get her a little closer to the door, and I'm gonna take care of some more setup stuff here. Can I drop a coin, please? Thank you. Check to see if that guy is starting to move. Let's lure the surgeon over here. He saw me trespassing and waving the gun at him. Um, got his attention a little more quickly than it would have if I had just stood there. He should see that coin on the floor and move a little further into the room so I can knock him out without getting seen here. So let's take his disguise. And there's one more lady I want to get out of the way. There's this woman right here, and I'm going to give her the old Pocorino, but I'm going to save first because I'm going to use the syringe on her first and then um, load up the save file again and save the syringe for the chief surgeon next time. So I'm going to make a save file here. I'm also going to reload the save file immediately because that will... I said there was one more woman who's in the way of um, 
this first Soder's keel, but there's actually another woman in the way too. She is the woman upstairs with the clipboard. So reloading this save file, did I already save it? I did. Reloading this save file will kind of slow her cycle down. There's an ovulation joke in there somewhere. I'm just too tired to find it. But slow her cycle down so that we can get into Soder's with the suit and expose ourselves as 47. So let's load that save file up. And let's give this woman the old Pocorino and haul ass. Okay. Oh, I need to hurl. Oh, I almost got wrecked by the door, but that not quite. Is Eric let's get this guy out of the way while the guard upstairs is not here. Get him in here. Because when I kill Soders, these guys will come out to check him, so he would have gotten found if I hadn't left him there. Yo, motherfuckers. God damn it, door. All right, so Soders is dead. I'm sorry I didn't watch too much of that cutscene, but you could see that I was about to get spotted by um, the guard upstairs, and also the woman with the clipboard in the observation room can also see that. But what just happened right there? 47 just teleported. That was not the magic of television. That was some crazy FPS shit. He just... I just skipped a whole bunch of frames right there. I don't know what happened, but... Well... Uh, this seems to be the most convenient thing to do for Yuki right now. I've already missed the gas lamp kill, so... I'm just gonna kill her with the lamp. That is how I'm gonna kill her twice today. It's require waiting a few seconds for her to get there, but that is the most convenient thing to do, so... Let's do it. I'm also sorry I didn't allow that cutscene, very much of that cutscene to roll, but honestly, we didn't miss very much of it. It kind of just uh, stares at 47 and says, you, and that's the end of the cutscene, and I'm pretty sure we saw most of it. I hope I didn't kill any guards. I didn't even check. Uh, let's wait a few seconds to see that we don't get any non-target kills, but I usually don't kill any guards like that. That should be good. How'd we do? There is a challenge one last time, Mr. Soders. And there's the rating. All right, last challenge. Now I'm really sad face, even though I still have some Colorado ones. This is the last one for Hokkaido, so... Let's hope this one works. I didn't mean to bump him. Just uh, a sec. Who oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I got caught because of the trolley head turn shit. Let's try that one again. All right, I just got caught by the trolley ass head turn, so that is probably not even worth showing again, but I actually did want to make a change from what I did anyway, so let's move this guy in here while we can. Oh, he is walking that way. He can't see legs though, so that is convenient. Where's Chief Queef? Oh, we're well in advance of Chief Queef, so I'm going to try to give him the old Pocorino here. Hopefully that guy in there doesn't see this. He doesn't usually from this angle. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I wanted to move that guy out of the way anyway, because sometimes when you kill Soders with this kill, those guys can see in that room. And this cop, we're well ahead of this cop, too. use this cop to prop open the door because Yuki's about to walk under the lamp again and yep. that should keep the door open I need to get back for the Soder's kill I made the chief surgeon sick so he is in process of puking in the bathroom so I need to get back into that Part of the building and going through the front door would have gotten me frisked. Even though I don't need anything any else anymore, I probably could have done that, but this is faster. Okay. There goes Yuki again. The yummy Yukazuki is history. Now it's time. Yuki Daruki, Yuki Faluki, Yuki my man Puki. Yuki Suzuki, Yuki. I'm running out of variations already. <laughs> you guys have been leaving me some funny ones. Let's check to see where this guy is, because he's going to be an not, not him. Uh, actually, it is him. He's going to be an enforcer when I get uh, good old Chief Queef's clothes here. There is Chief Queef, and there is clothes, and now we are able to kill Soders with the 
operating equipment. Uh, hopefully that guy doesn't cash me outside. No, he didn't cash me outside at all. But cash me outside, Dan. Doctor, how are you? Did I just meme? I think I just memed. What is wrong with me? And this is the guy who caught me. He didn't catch me this time. That isn't even worth showing again, but let's toss a coin out there. And the correct order for this is activate robotic arm. And then it's inject cardiac syringe. And then strike blood. And I'm not going to watch too much of this cutscene either because this guy is going to start moving any second. Well, that should be it. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. Now move the guy I knocked out so sometimes I go and investigate um, Soder's body when he dies. So even if they did, they wouldn't have found the guy I knocked out because I moved him this time. I didn't do that last time when I screwed up, but there is a challenge, not human error, and there's a raiding silent assassin, and let's check out the challenges. I'm have them all completed, 20 out of 20. And there they all are. Uh, that was pretty good. I'm especially proud of the fact that we were able to take care of all of these in just five videos. I don't think I took care of all 20 challenges for any the other maps in um, uh, that few. Um, so that was cool. I do still have some Colorado challenges to do, so I'm not entirely sad face, but honestly, they aren't. Uh, well, some of them are cool. String Quartet are, is cool, and then the other ones I routed with that were pretty cool. I'm, I'm just dreading the one with the um, the wash basin where you have to drown them because it's just 15 minutes of, of setting um, setting stuff up and then waiting for Sean to actually walk there. So That is all for Hokkaido. We took care of everything, and that was a lot of fun. And I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with my chattel after all these challenges are done. Uh, maybe continue with the blood money stuff, maybe... Uh, I want to keep doing commentary because it is really fun to explain things and, and people seem to enjoy that part of it, so I want to continue doing that. I just don't know how I'm going to yet. So that is that. Uh, Hokkaido's done and I will finish the Colorado one soon. So thanks for watching. This is CJ and I'm out. See ya!